Good evening. Yes, that is right. It's time for another episode of Red Renegades. Today we'll be doing the 10 best walks at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Now guys, as we all know, it takes uh, a lot to get to the cream of the crop in the Victoria Fashion Show. Uh, but it's just something about the way that these girls walked in, you know, sort of whoever was the best outfit for their body and, you know, face, uh, you know, and their style. And it, they just came in and they absolutely loot left the crowd gobsmacked. So we're just going to check out that today. But on, on my side of things, sort of, guys, you know, I feel like I'm just getting trapped in the cyber world, you know, sort of looking at emails, messaging friends and stuff. You know, I can't, I feel like I'm being absorbed into the internet. And, you know, I feel like if I stay too much longer, you know, I'm just going to escape. I just feel like it's in closing in on me. Ah! This is it, guys. No way out. Hello! Hello! Ah, I can see me for miles. Oh, well, let's get on with the show. Morpheus, have you got an entrance? Good man. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I forget the name of uh, the Trinity actor. Never mind, I was going to use it for a gag. All right, without further ado, guys, let's get this thing started. Best Victoria's Secret Fashion Show openings, and here we go. Ten. Okay, and number ten is... The Black Eyed Peas. Is this uh, for the musicians or the models? Maybe a bit of both. Maybe just a bit of a spectacle. Alright, I did. This was during the time of Black Eyed Peas when they released, what, Meet Me Halfway, I Got a Feeling. Overall, I gotta say, there were some good singles, but they released actually, I did buy the album actually, which is odd, because I don't buy sort of a, a lot of pop music or sort of, well, you know, back, even albums period back then, I think, you know, downloading was more popular. Uh, but overall, I think they were stretching a bit, putting as a double albums. I think some of those songs uh, weren't very strong, in my opinion, at least, and uh, maybe they should have just had like one, si one CD. But uh, overall, the singles were good. But. Alessandro Ambrosio. Looks like she's a. Uh, like, I'm trying to look like she's in a, like a underwater setting or something. Like they put the streamers on her to make it look like she you knows she's a mermaid. That's what the style reminds me of at least. Fergie. Number nine. That is an elaborate, uh, that outfit. Was it Dragon? Very over the top, but that's what Victoria's Secret's all about, obviously. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to have that as a, like a backpack at a party or something. Just wondering how the sound's going, people. I apologize, because I know everyone wants, you know, to be able to hear me clearly and, you know, the sound from the video clearly. I'm just a bit concerned about that. Ah. Oh, is YouTube... Was this just the CD, or were they actually here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Number eight. This goes back a while. Ooh, 1999. Come and cast uh, the greats. What you gonna do with that jacket? No, he's leaving the floor. Oh no. As of the moment, it doesn't seem like there's anything too spectacular. At least from a production standpoint of view with the lighting and stuff. It was iconic back at the time though. I mean, even like seeing like a woman's ankles in the 1800s was a big deal. And uh, sort of, we've certainly accelerated in terms of, you know, how much, uh, you know, uh, skin we're allowed to show sort of on a societal level. Listen, Red Renegades, I came here for you to be shocked, not a fucking sociological sort of uh, lecture, alright? Just stick with the fucking, oh my god, she's hot. Go to someone else's channel. It's 
going on here? It's like an opening scene of Metropolis or something. How do you say that name? Geisel Butchin. 2002. In terms of accessories, I think some of these girls are missing out. They've already, you know, sort of half wearing jackets. We've already seen the putting on the jackets halfway during the walking down the catwalk. We've seen them take off the jacket. We've seen them half take it off. You know, we've seen all that. They should, you know, start to use the sunglasses. Putting on the sunglasses, taking off the sunglasses. Sort of, uh, you know, why not? Anything goes in these fashion shows. Number six. I expect, like, I have big expectations for the top three, sort of. Something to do real impressive. Rotating carousel, like, this kind of looks like a birdcage. I forget what they call them, like a garden gazebo, or... I forget what they're called. Adriana Lima? I mean, I, it, it's cool, but we can barely see her. I, I got it, I stopped the video on the one uh, frame of light that she's in. Oh wait, here we go, now we can see her. That's a cool backdrop. I like that setting. Set designer. Yes. The skull shoulder pads. You know, they were popular back in the 80s. But they were used mostly in like suits and stuff. To sort of like show a bit of power, I guess. But, uh, hey, you know, we can't be laughing too much about what they did back in the past. You know, we're going to be looking back in 2021 thinking, geez, like, this is an interesting style we did back then. Welcome to the one. All right, we got the circus delay stuff. What an interesting what, what an interesting thing. You got like the circus delay people going on. They're doing like flips and stuff. But like, if it's an interesting balancing act, like, uh, no pun intended, because like sort of if it's too interesting, you'd be like, I don't care about Adria Lima. She's just walking. I can see her walk anytime. But these guys are flipping upside down and stuff. I don't see this every day. You know, it's pretty cool. So you'd be like, hey, tone it down, buddy. You're out showing Adriana Lima. I spent a thousand millions of dollars wearing the golden crust and bra and stuff. Stop what you're doing, all right? Just tone it down. Right, let's. This is not about you. This is about, you know, sort of showcasing hot women. Okay? So, yeah, just something to think about. It's not that interesting what they're doing at the moment. But they can do some pretty cool sh uh, stuff. Your yeah. So turn around and I'll pick up the slack. Just similar. The beautiful Carolina Kukova. Two thousand one. I do like that hairstyle, so it was pop it. You don't see it as much these days. Well, you know, sort of, I, I didn't look, at, at least some of the older shows, sort of, they don't look, you know, 
oh, uh, like, you know, the video doesn't do me any favors, you know, sort of visually very sort of interesting, but sort of, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm not aware of the backstory, sort of the after, you know, sort of effects about what happened, whether sort of after that performance, they sold like, you know, four times as many sort of uh, Victoria's Secret lingerie off that, uh, of the clothes she was wearing that sort of normal than the other clothes the girls were wearing. I'm not exactly sure. So let me know some tidbits in the comment section below. Ah, my most disliked video. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I just laid into one or too many things. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe my gag sucked at the suck at the start. And people just uh, launched in on me. But I'll keep it up at least for a little while. Candice Swanapoil 2013. This is a big show, actually. Sort of uh, uh, Taylor Swift and Fallout Boy in the show. So, two big stars in one show. That's pretty good. And uh, number one, the, great, the greatest Victoria walk we've ever seen, people. So, brace yourself. Everything you see this after is going to be a step down. So, uh, this is the peak of your life. Christmas. Uh, the greatest model ever, Giselle Butchin in 2005, peak of her powers, and the best set, best designer. Glitter stage. I mean, it's very seasonal lingerie though, sort of like, let's say, you like what she's wearing. I'm not sure if you can buy the uh, short Santa skirt as well, I don't know, like, if you know, and you pull, if you're wearing these clothes yourself, you know, sort of. Uh, you could only really wear it during the Christmas period, I guess, maybe. So. From a practical selling point of view, I'm not sure. No! The music all of a sudden came a lot louder during that outro. I apologize. All right, guys. That was the 10 best walks of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show openings. Yeah, no, it's interesting to see some of the uh, artists, you know, that they've had for the years, you know, the Taylor Swift, the Fallout Boys, the Justin Timberlakes, uh, you know, sort of wherever they've decided to get live acts, or whether that distracts away from the girls, and, you know, sort of that balancing act. Yeah, interesting to see how they've tweaked it over the years. But, uh, yeah, and I think the earliest I saw there was maybe, what, early 90s or 1999? So, yeah, but uh, certainly been a, a big thing in the uh, public eye for a little while now. So, let's see what they're going to do next. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. I gotta get out of here guys. This bird's gotta fly. You just watched another episode of Bread Win Against. Make sure to check out this video. My highest viewed. It's gotta be high viewed for a reason. This one? Oh, this one's also pretty funny. Also one down here. Alright, see you guys later. Grace, give me a water, will you? Thank you. Good show, that one. <laughs>